And here we go again. Back in the early 80s, John Pertwee filmed a corporate video selling warranties for Zanussi. Anybody that's ever had to deal with appliance warranty claims is probably feeling a bit triggered now. But that's not what has the rainbow hate mob triggered today. No, no, my friends. At the end of the ad, the female co-host asks, where in the galaxy is Zanussi? To which he responds, show us your and I'll tell you. And oh boy, while this might not have been that big a thing back in the 80s, it's a capital crime in current year. So now the rainbow hate mob is calling for the cancellation of John Pertwee, who, it should be noted, passed away in 1996. But that doesn't stop the blue-haired fedora-wearing soy-drinking basement minions from stamping their stubby little fingers on Twitter. If you listen really hard, you can hear them calling me bad things on that lovely platform as we speak. And in comes Bleeding Cool. In 2019, you can't tell if this is troll or not. But given that this is 2019, then we have to assume it's serious. It seems like our friend Ray got triggered and just had to write an opinion piece about it. Doctor Who, John Pertwee, NSFW video, further proof why female doctors only from now on. Opinion. Well, Ray, since it's going over so well with Whitaker the Hateful, I'm sure many will be just delighted with this. I was torn about what to do with this post. No, you weren't. Whether it was worth giving exposure to or not. Come on, Ray. Lies make baby Jesus cry. But at the time when scared little boys freak out every time a woman dares play in their corner of the geek pop culture sandbox, wow, Ray, tell us what you really think. As for scared little boys, I sense a bit of projection here. It never hurts to remind people just how shitty things used to be, and in a crap load of ways, still are. Kill the past, yo, and destroy the present for anyone who isn't a straight white male. Ooh, those three words that strike so much fear in regressive idiots. If there's any show recently, that's seen its fair share of privileged pushback in that regard, it's Doctor Who. Do tell us more about this privileged thing, Ray. Now for the straight white males who just read that and are rolling their eyes, feeling a little butthurt right now. Not really. Most of us are just laughing our asses off. I believe this is what some folks call NPC thinking. You're a video game character, Ray. One of them annoying ones that keeps spouting the same two lines over and over again. Oh, good. Thanks, Ray. I'm glad we could bring some happiness to your lonely little life. You're precisely the problem I'm speaking to. Well then, hello, Ray. Thanks for mansplaining to me. And I'm not wasting time on lectures that go nowhere. No, Ray. Why bother clarifying your statements with actual evidence? But then, social justice warriors don't believe in evidence now, do they? No, they prefer to blame the fact that they suck at life on that terrible, terrible demographic. You're the folks who think you have power by passing around bullshit on social media that Jodie Whittaker is getting fired because her ratings suck. No, Ray. We're just hoping she gets fired. But your facts are wrong. The rumor was that she had a hissy fit and walked off set. And viewers don't want a girl doctor. No, we just don't want a doctor that's a reprehensible bag of hatred. Regardless of actual facts, because why let facts fuck with your wave of misogynistic hate, right? I see, Ray. And yet we base our opinions on the train wreck as it was portrayed on screen and Whitaker's own words. But hey, when presented with evidence, you just throw that M word at us and you think you've won the argument. You're a funny man, Ray. You're the folks who took the Rotten Tomatoes to drive down Watchmen's score because how dare a black woman be a superhero lead? No, Ray. People voted it down because it was shit. And how dare they make Rorschach a racist? Current year, Ray, this is to be expected. Proving that you have no clue what Morin Gibbons' work was about in the first place. Well then, why don't you tell us, Ray? Yeah, I thought so. You're the folks that will probably find the video below hysterical. Here's the background from the TV museum. I don't know, Ray, but your reaction is hysterical. But the good news, ignorant thinking is dying off, literally. Hoping for people to die now, Ray. Well, at least you're being true to the ideals of the rainbow hate mob. According to some stats on aging and crappy health, so keep free basing Doritos and Mountain Dew kids. Are you aware of what soy does to your testicles, Ray? So, it's amusing to watch the close-minded stand on the shores of change with sponges in hand. How eloquent of you, Ray. Cocksure in their narcissistic. I'm sensing a bit of narcissism in this article, Ray. Self-righteous. Says the person who just wished death on an entire demographic believe they can hold back a growing wave of diversity, even as they get dragged out to sea. Would you like to expand on that, Ray? I thought not. To paraphrase a line back at them, they should appreciate. Let's have it, Ray. All the racists and raging misogynists, there's those words again, will look up and shout, save us. Not really. As I said, 
we're just laughing our asses off. And I'll look down and whisper, new phone, who dis? I doubt you could save a puppy trapped in a paper bag, Ray. Then we'll declare a 50-year moratorium on straight white dudes playing the doctor. And as for John Pertwee, again, best of luck with that, Ray. You got picked on a lot as a child, didn't you? And that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe and check your subscription and notification status because YouTube is being shady on these things lately. And follow me on Twitter. And as always, everyone, thank you for watching and have a great day.